I said, sir, I can help you the same way that uh, employees in UK uh, can help you if you allow me to. Then he said, I don't want to speak to a fucking Indian. Go transfer me to UK. That was the worst thing I've heard. Like so many graduates needing work, Ajitesh has relocated. But being 800 miles away from his mother means Ajitesh gets to live the single lifestyle. This is a very typical bachelor's accommodation. Most of my colleagues uh, live uh, in accommodation similar to this. It's a very small matchbox kind of accommodation. Uh, I'll have to take my shoes off. Yeah, that's my roommate, Shuman. And he's been living with me from last three, four years. I'm not easy to live with. I mean, I'm the one who messes the place around. He's the only one who actually, you know, does a bit of cleaning. But uh, he doesn't mind when I blast the music, even while he's sleeping. You know, whenever I come back, I want to listen to my mu music loud. That's the fun, staying together. But uh, I'm not sure whether my mom will appreciate, uh, you know, getting girls here. But then uh, every now and then, uh, somebody will come and, you know, we have a drink together. But uh, as for my mom goes, I have to hide most of the things before she comes here, uh, like beer bottles, ashtrays and cigarettes, butts and everything, uh, even the lighters. She wouldn't appreciate, uh, you know, the, the way we live here. Now, to go to places in Bangalore, the best mode of transportation would be a bike. Uh, you have seen the, uh, the traffic in Bangalore. Uh, most of the devices have uh, bikes. Uh, we can't afford cars. Probably, uh, you know, one day I'll have my own car. Can't afford it at this point of time. Probably sometime in the future. Oh. Although Ajitesh spends all his working time speaking to British customers, working for a British company, he's never been to the UK before. But now's his chance. For one week, Ajitesh will join the sales teams in Norwich and see for himself what the Brits are really like. Morning! Back in Norwich, Linda checks up on her teams before she heads off to Bangalore. With eight years of management behind her, she wants to know who are the real winners and losers in the offshoring game. Morning. Morning. How are we all? Fantastic. Are we exploiting India? I don't think so. I think um, we're giving people the opportunity to um, work in what I assume to be nice places. Yeah, are we all all right? Because I believe we're actually not exploiting them. I believe we're doing them a favour. So let's see when I get out there. Linda will be leaving her husband and family behind in Norwich, but for now there are more pressing concerns. Hopefully I've got myself covered if I take a little bit of everything. I don't know um, where I'll be able to show my arms or a cleavage, and where well, I can't. One of the girls said to be a bit wary about wearing tight-fitting clothes because um, the chaps over there can be a little bit handy and touchy and I'm not comfortable with that. I went to the um, nurse and straight away she said, you should be careful of rabies, the dog's out there, you know, don't be bit. Um, oh, and HIV. And straight away I thought, God, they're going to be bringing me home in a box. Oh, I feel completely um, anxious about the whole thing now we're talking about what I might see. Having travelled 5,000 miles across the world, Ajitesh finally arrives in the UK. In Bangalore, it's 2 a.m. and with dire warnings ringing in her ears, Linda hits the ground. I expected for there to be a terrible smell and for there to be thousands of people. And there ain't. It's lovely. Oh. Ajitesh has never left Asia before and he's got strict instructions not to pick up any bad habits. My mother has uh, given me a complete list of do's and don'ts which I need to follow strictly. Avoid eating junk food. Make sure you wear a lot of warm clothes before you step out of the hotel, especially cover your ears. Don't forget to pray. 
go single, come back single. And uh, I guess I'm going to do that. I think the people in Norwich would be uh, very professional, very uh, formally dressed, and uh, good looking people, especially uh, the girls. Three hours later, an Ajitesh arrives in Norwich. Matapani, Pasmati rice, and dal tadka. Sometimes my mother is very worried about uh, my food, uh, eating habits. She was worried because I'm very uh, particular about the food. I like Indian food. And uh, a lot of warm clothes as well, which my mom has said. Uh, I think I'm going to call my mom now. Twelve hours into her trip, there's no end to the surprises in store for Linda. My God, this is amazing. <laughs> Everywhere is so clean and um, <laughs> fresh and colourful, and I just expected it to be dusty and um, not like this at all. I think I'm going to love staying here. <laughs> Linda's about to experience commuting Bangalore style, bringing a whole new meaning to... Sorry, I got stuck in the traffic. This, this is exactly what I expected when we got off the plane. All you can hear... Are horns. <laughs> Thanks for that. In front, I can, I can see the equivalent to my grandparents on a motorbike, which is unbelievable. My man certainly wouldn't go on the back of one of them bikes. I think it's just got to be one hell of an experience, to be honest with you. I can't believe in the middle of here are buildings like those. Can you see those buildings? This is so... Is this the call centre? Is this the call centre, really? Bloody hell. Welcome to the International Tech Park one of the latest glittering business complexes that's home to hundreds of companies, including Norwich Union's business partner, 24-7. True to their name, they're working round the clock for a number of UK and American clients. 5,000 miles away, the view's slightly less glamorous at Norwich Union's flagship call centre, Horizon. You must be Agitesh. Yeah, I'm Agitesh. Team leader Dave Warns is on hand to show Agitesh his new Norwich Union family. Okay, so this is huge. Oh, oh, this looks big. It is actually massive as you look across here. Oh, it's, it's huge. And in amongst all the fun, there's a whole lot of love. I haven't seen anything like this, uh, not an office like this. It's surprising. It's, it's just exactly opposite to what I thought it would be. Linda's only been in the Bangalore call centre for 10 minutes and is already giving senior manager Saif Khan a piece of her mind. Back in Norwich, it seems very much more open plan. You, you all seem a lot closer together. My so where do you sit? I sit there in the corner. What, behind those screens? Yeah. Really? I don't sit there too much. I'm, I'm not I should hope not. Walking around. Okay, this is it's another nice. floor. Wow. Mm. These little pins like this in the low ceiling, it looks like a cattle pen. <laughs> Bring a saw in tomorrow and we'll take them take down. Them yeah? <laughs>